Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the using the input and the output together in the Angular. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically, <laughs> input decorator and the output decorator. We have already learned in the previous two videos from passing the data from the parent to child and child to parent. We are going to use the input and the output decorator. So let's take an example that is the counter component. Okay. So the parent component passes the initial counter value to the child using the input decorator and the child component emits the updated counter value to the parent component parent whenever it is incremented or decremented using the output decorator. So let's take an example. So here you can see that so this is our counter component okay and uh, after that we have a parent one so let's assume that this is the child component okay that i'm going to use right so let's go by step by step so this is we have to import okay so in our project let's go with the child component this is my child i'm going to use the input output both okay so in the child one let's define my template so this is the template i'm going to use it so it has the two buttons that is decrement and increment right so we have to define it okay this functions we have to define right so here we go with this one let's go with the input because with the input receives the initial value from the parent so because i want the initial value first so here I'm going to define the input because here I want to receive the data from the parent. Correct? Counter value. Then I'm going to output. Okay. So I'm going to emit the updated value to the parent with the help of the output one. Okay. So in the child, I'm going to declare in the output. Right. After this, we have an increment and decrement functions. Okay. So here we have the two functions. Let's define because this function is defined over here. We have to define here. Right. So just word wrap this, correct, increment and decrement. Now, the parent component. So this is our template. So let's use this template one in our component.t, app component.ts. Let's go with the templates. Okay. And this is our not app component. This is our app user. Okay. And here I'm going to define the user one okay now let's go back so we have to define the count because this value we have to pass from the child okay so parent to the child so i'm going to define this initialize the counter with five okay now we have to go with the update counter right so i'm going to define my update counter okay so when i click on the update counter right so this count update the counter value in parent okay and here you can see that the app user then we have a counter okay this is the property binding from the child and this is our event emitter from the child okay correct th th this is what we have learned in the last two videos right so if i go to the front end here you can see default value is five if i'm going to increase it by five it will give me this one okay increment and decrement by one here you can see what the logic is in the child component plus plus and minus minus okay correct so what the flow is first of all let's understand this okay i have written all everything so the data flow the parent passes the count value to the child using the input decorator correct so so parent component let's go to the parent parent pass the value count okay so parent pass the value count to the counter one this is in the child okay with the help of the input decorator this is what it is defined the parent passes the count value to the child using the input decorator property counter the child updates the counter value with the increment or decrement buttons are clicked the child emits the new value to the parent using the output decorator with the 
counter change okay so whenever there is a counter change so i'm going to emit a new value okay so this is what one way communication data flows from the parent to child via input and the event flows from the child to parent via output the initial counter value is five passed by the parent clicking the plus button increases the value well clicking the minus button decreases it the parent component dynamically updates and displays the current value of the counter efficiently any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day